Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other diseases and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Oracio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts as the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthening their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of God, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman, pray for us. Please stand. Bayan muling magtipon Awitan ang Panginoon Sa piging sariwain Pagliligtas niya sa atin Sa piging sariwain Pagliligtas niya sa atin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Jesus tells us today that the mere external observance of God's law does not make us his true followers. Our observance of the divine law must spring from the inner conviction. May our Eucharistic celebration make us grow in love, a love that is free, responsible, and self-giving. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, 
and what I'll fail to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, to all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Sa mga taong kinalulugdan niya, pinupuri ka namin, dinarangal ka namin, sinasamba ka namin, ipinagbubunyi ka namin. Papuri sa Diyos, papuri sa Diyos, sa kaitaasan papuri sa Diyos pinasasalamatan ka namin sa iyong dakilat ang king kapurihan Panginoong Diyos Hari ng langit Diyos amang makapangyarihan sa lahat Panginoong Heso Kristo Bugtong na anak Panginoong Diyos Cordero ng Diyos Anak ng Ama Papuri sa Diyos Papuri sa Diyos sa kaitaasan, papuri sa Diyos, ikaw na nagalis ng mga kasalanan ng mundo. Maawa ka sa Tanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan, ikaw na naluklok sa kanan ng Ama. Papuri sa Diyos, papuri sa Diyos, sa kaitaasan, papuri sa Diyos. 
sapagkat ikaw lamang ang banal at ng kataas-taasan. Ikaw lamang, O Heso Kristo, ang Panginoon. Kasama ng Espiritu Santo sa kadakilaan ng Diyos Amamin. Papuri sa Diyos, papuri sa Diyos, sa kaitaasan, papuri sa Diyos. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Sirach tells us that we are free to choose between a life of faithfulness and a life of sin. But God, who knows everything, has prepared life for the virtues and death for sinners. A reading from the book of Sirach. If you choose, you can keep the commandments. They will save, save you. If you trust in God, you too shall live. He has set forth before you fire and water, to whichever you choose, stretch forth your hand. Before man are life and death, good and evil. Whichever he chooses shall be given him. Immense is the wisdom of the Lord. He is mighty in power and all-seeing. The eyes of God are on those who fear Him. He understands man's every deed. No one does He command to act unjustly. To none does He give license to sin. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. You have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept. O oh, what, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant, that I may live and keep your words. Open my eyes, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Instruct me, O Lord, in the way of your statutes, that I may exactly observe them. Give me discernment, that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. The wisdom of God is his loving plan to save us through Christ. It is the wisdom that proclaims the salvific merit of the cross of Christ. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we speak a wisdom to those who are mature, not a wisdom of this age nor of the rulers of this age who are passing away. 
Rather, we speak God's wisdom, mysterious, hidden, with God predetermined before the ages of our glory, and which none of the rulers of this age knew, for if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But it is written, What eye has not seen, and ear has not heard, and what has not entered the human heart, what God has prepared for those who love him. This God has revealed to us through thy Spirit. For thy Spirit is scrutinized everything, even the depths of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. We call in hope, on na kikiniga ko sa iyong mga salita. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you. Until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, and whoever says, You fool, will be liable to Fieri Jehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, Leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, Tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Jehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Jehenna. It was also said, 
Whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, not by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel today forms part of the so-called Sermon on the Mount of Jesus. Jesus, when he started his public ministry, gave a series of radical teaching to his disciples. Binigyan niya sila ng matinding pagtuturo tungkol sa ating pananampalataya. And what did Jesus first teach them? He gave them the Beatitudes. Then after telling the Beatitudes, Jesus invited them to become the salt and the light of the world. And to become salt and light of the world, Jesus reminded his disciples that he did not come to abolish the law and the prophets, but rather he has come to fulfill them. My dear friends, what is the use of a law? Bakit tayo may mga batas? Bakit tayo may mga rules, may mga regulations, may mga norms na sinusunod? For example, kung ikaw ay nagmamaneho at may traffic light, di ba yung traffic light, that is a law. Sundin ang traffic light. Kapag green, tuloy, mag-drive ka. Pagka yellow, caution. Pag red, stop. Di ba? Pag hindi mo sinunod yung traffic light, ano ang mangyayari? Maaaring maa-aksidente ka, magkakabuhol-buhol ang traffic, magkakagulo. So if there are no laws, then there will be chaos. Di ba? So laws are given to us to order our day-to-day -day existence because there are people involved well, there are two or more people involved, there has to be order. And in order to guarantee that there is an orderly relationship, there must be laws. Kinakailangan ng mga batas para tayo ay magkaroon ng maayos na pamumuhay. Di ba? Pag dalawang tao, may agreement. In order to protect the agreements between two persons, you have to establish a law or guidelines of how to coexist, how to live with one another. And that is also true with our relationship with God and with our neighbors. We need the law in order for us, my dear brothers and sisters, to give what is due to others. Diba? Kung ano ang dapat ibigay sa iba, Kung ano ang dapat nating i-observe, kinakailangan natin ng kaayusan para tayo ay maging faithful. And that is very true with our covenant with God. In order for us to fulfill our obligation to God and to others, we have to follow the law. 
Pero ang nangyari para sa mga Hudyo, ang kanilang buhay ay umikot sa mga batas, sa mga law ng kanilang relihiyon. And they became a strict law abiding religious leaders and people. Pero naging literal. Nakalimutan nila na ang essence ng mga batas na yan, ng mga laws na yan, ay love and charity, mercy, compassion. Nakalimutan nila yung mga bagay na yan. ba diba? Kagaya ng ating pamumuhay paminsan-minsan, nakakalimutan natin bakit tayo may mga batas. Yung mga batas na yan, ibinigay para ma-fulfill natin ang mga responsibilidad natin sa Diyos at sa kapwa-tao. Pero, ang nangyayari, tayo ay nagiging literal masyado. We so are focused or absorb in the fulfillment of the law by enforcing it and sometimes when we enforce the law we forget the law of charity we forget the greatest commandment to love God and to love our brothers and sisters and thus Jesus reminded us in the gospel a series of radical teachings telling us not to be angry Because anyone who commits anger is like committing murder. Diba? Jesus goes farther by saying, You have heard that it was said you shall not commit adultery. Adultery no longer consists only of having an extramarital affair. For Jesus, adultery goes farther But I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust and has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Jesus teaches us that anyone who marries a divorced person commits adultery. So in other words, Jesus is telling us not to only interpret literally what is given to us. But rather, what is given to us, we have to put and moderate it with love, mercy, and compassion. So, lahat po ng mga batas, lahat ng mga regulations, lahat ng mga guidelines na binibigay, dapat ito ay binubuhay sa pamamagitan ng pagmamahal sa Diyos at sa kapwa-tao. So, for example, when you follow the law, you do not follow the law for the sake of fulfilling the law or being afraid of being penalized. You fulfill the law because you want to love God and your neighbor. Diba? For example, gaya balik tayo sa traffic light. Bakit kinakailangan mong sundin yung traffic light? Bakit pag green, pwede kang umandar, mag-drive? Pag red, pwede kang mag-stop. Hindi dahil sa takot kang makasagasa ng ibang tao. Hindi dahil takot kang ma-aksidente kaya ka nag stop pag naka-red. Pag naka-red, ikaw ay tumitigil, humihinto ka sa pagmamaneho. Bakit? Eh kasi mahal mo ang bayan mo. Ayaw mo magka-traffic. Mahal mo ang kapwa-tao mo. Iginagalang mo yung mga dumadaan sa pedestrian. Mahal mo ang mga tao na nasa lansangan kasi ayaw mo silang masaktan pag nagka-aksidente. ba? Diba? So, when we fulfill the law, my dear brothers and sisters, we are fulfilling the greatest law. And that is the law of charity. The law of loving God and neighbor. And that is why Jesus in the Gospel tells us not to commit adultery not to be angry, not to be people who sin with eyes, with our eyes and our hands. Jesus tells us, kung yung mata mo ang nagdudulot sa'yo ng kasalanan, kung yung kamay mo ang nagdudulot sa'yo ng kasalanan, tanggalin mo daw. You do not follow what Jesus is telling you literally. 
Di ba? When Jesus tells you to pluck your eyes or cut your hand, Jesus is not telling you to do that literally. What Jesus is telling you is, control your eyes, control your hands. Why? Because you might sin. And when you sin, you hurt other people. You hurt God when you sin. And so, my dear friends, if we want to be true disciples of Jesus, we have to obey Him. We have to follow the law. But when we follow and observe the law, we have to remind ourselves we do it because we love God, we love our neighbor, and we love ourselves. Because in the end, the law has for its purpose to bring us to salvation. So we follow the law because we love God, we, f we love our neighbor, and we want to reach eternal life. Please stand. We profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters, through the Holy Spirit, let us ask the Father the grace to discern His will and the mysteries of the kingdom. Full of trust, we pray. Loving God, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear our prayer. Help our church leaders soundly discern the movement of your spirit in the world we are in, we pray. Loving God, hear our prayer. May our national and local leaders and the citizenry see you in the face of each other so that we may treat each other with dignity, we pray. Loving God, hear our prayer. Help all families manifest your goodness as parents, children, and siblings strive to be loving to each other, we pray. Loving God, hear our prayer. Welcome our departed loved ones into the heavenly kingdom, we pray. Loving God, hear our prayer. Eternal God, hear our plea as we strive to discern the mysteries of the kingdom which you have lovingly revealed to us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. The bread by your hand was once the seed was sown, then grew and yielded on the ground and gathered all for. The wine by your cup was once a vine that grape. It grew to bear good fruit. 
words for men a symbol of your blood of the seed we eat your body our bread of life of the wine we drink your blood the wine of new covenant please stand pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the father almighty May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. By sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you Your head, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. Please stand. Uh, the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Para ng pag- 
pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at wag mo kami ipahin tulot sa tukso at yadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace. be with you. Corsero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan maawa ka sa amin Kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan maawa ka sa amin kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan ipagkaloob mo sa amin ang kapayapaan Please kneel Behold the Lamb of God Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen. Sa tubig 
ikai pagmamasdan sa dakong banal nang makita ko ang iyong pagkarangal dadalangin ako nakataas aking kamay nagagalap na aawit ng papuri iyalay gunit ako ikaw habang nahihimlay pagkat ang pulong mo sa tuwinay taglay sa lilim ng iyong mga pagpag umaawit ako Sa'y tiyak Kung hawak mo ako Magdiriwang Ang hari Ang Diyos Siyang dahilan Ang sa iyo Ay nangakong Galak yaong Makakamtan Gunit ako Pagkat ang tulong mo sa tuwinay taglay sa lilim ng iyong mga pagpag. Umaawit, umaawit. Maawit ako buo. Sanctify me, body of Christ. Save me, water from the side of Christ. Wash me, passion of Christ. Give me strength. that I may never leave thy side from all the evil that surrounds me defend me and when the call of death arrives bid me come to thee that I may praise thee with thy say
Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for an announcement. We will now have the second basket collection for the extension of the Basilica of Our Lady of Piat. Those who wish to give more may give your donations at the parish office. Gaya po ng narinig natin, ang second collection po natin ngayon ay para sa extension ng Basilica, para po sa construction ng Basilica bilang paghahanda natin sa 400 years ng Shrine of Our Lady of Piat. So, yung mga nais pong mag-donate at mag-sponsor ng mga projects kagaya ng mga gates at saka stained glass, pwede po ninyong ibigay sa parish office o kaya ialay sa second basket collection natin. Marami pa pong kailangan ang basilika para matapos ang paghahanda natin sa 400 years of the shrine. Ang susunod po na project ay ang ating bobeda. Pagtitignan po ninyo, medyo luma na at saka ito ay kinakailangan ng ma-repair dahil marami na po mga butas. At dahil dyan, umaasa na naman po kami sa inyong tulong para matapos ito bago mag-December 2023 dahil pagdiriwang po natin ng 400 years ng dambana ng ating mahal na ina. Salamat po. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May God bless you with every heavenly blessing. Make you always holy and pure in His sight. Pour out in abundance upon you the riches of His glory and teach you with the words of truth. May He instruct you in the gospel of salvation and ever endow you with fraternal charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come A down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Maraya virhen na piyat Asing na may kalulungag Sikawi ang kigutan Yen ako na kagayan Sikawi ang kigutan Yen ako Please kneel. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lifeless sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment. While I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. 
the dearest mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Fiat, pray for us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>